The city of Nîmes makes a very attractive place to visit with its quiet pedestrian lanes running through the center and especially because of the three major Roman historic sites. There's an ancient temple, there's a large amphitheater, nearby is the famous aqueduct Pont du Gard. Nîmes is located in the south of France. Quite nearby are the cities of Arles and Avignon. And just further east, you've got Aix and Marseille. Nîmes makes a very nice two or three hour diversion and leaves you in good position to catch the bus to the ancient Roman bridge of Pont du Gard. Upon arrival in Nîmes, exit the train station and walk a few blocks along the main busy street, Avenue Faucher to a shady park and just beyond to the star attraction of town and the world's best preserved ancient Roman amphitheater. The most important structure in town. It, it forms an ellipse 145 yards long and 115 yards wide and it's 70 feet high. Although it's smaller than the amphitheater in Rome, the great Colosseum, or even the amphitheater in Arles, it's actually in better preservation than any of them. The arena is built of limestone blocks that are as large as 10 feet wide, perfectly adjusted without any mortar to hold it together in that ancient Roman style. The exterior presents two stories, each of 60 arches. After the Roman days, the arena was converted into a fortress in the Middle Ages, and afterwards it was occupied by houses and restoration has been continuously ongoing ever since. A lovely pedestrian zone of shops and cafes extends just beyond the right side of the arena, with the main lane of Rue de l'Aspic running 10 blocks through its center. Check out the shops and other sites on your way back to the station later in the morning. Most shops open at 10 a.m., but for now, stroll six blocks along Rue de l'Aspic and turn left on Rue General Perrier to the other great historic monument of Nîmes, the Maison Carré. It forms a rectangle 29 yards by 15 yards. I'm standing in front of the best preserved Roman temple in France. We're in Nîmes and this is a Roman temple called Maison Carré, which means the square house. And it's 2,000 years old. This temple was founded, they say, by the Emperor Augustus and built in honor of his two grandsons who became the rulers of the Nîmes area. This was an important part of the Roman Empire in the south of France. And for contrast, next to the ancient Roman temple is this very modern art museum designed by the firm of Richard Rogers, one of England's most important modern architects huge glass curtain wall and a canopy make an inviting facade for this modern art museum. Place du Marché, the market square, is one of the central open spaces of the city with some nice cafes and restaurants of course around it. And in the middle there's the statue of the alligator that reminds us of the ancient Romans who fought in Egypt where they encountered alligators before retiring to their homes in the Nîmes area. Thus the alligators become a symbol of the city. During the reign of Emperor Augustus, Nîmes became quite important and a defensive wall was built around it. Part of the wall still remains with the Gateway of Augustus built in 15 BC. It's a Roman arch and wall and a reproduction of a Roman statue of Augustus himself. Another vestige of ancient Roman rule is this statue of Emperor Antonino, who reigned in the second century. There's a beautiful canal that runs through the center of town. This dates back to the 18th century when the town needed some more fresh water to help power their industrial machines as well. It was a fabrics and silk producing area. There's a lovely promenade that runs right along the length of this canal. 
right in the heart of town, just a few blocks over from Maison Carré, the Roman temple. And there's a beautiful fountain park associated with it, similar to the more ancient aqueduct. It reminds us of the Roman Pont du Gard and 2,000 years ago when the Romans brought an aqueduct and the canals right into the center of Nîmes. This dates back to the 18th century when the town needed some more fresh water to help power their industrial machines as well. It was a fabrics and silk producing area. It Walk back into the heart of the pedestrian zone, retracing your steps along Rue de la Spique, which by now is alive with open shops and cafes. In addition to all of the historic sites, there's always the joy of simply walking through the pedestrian lanes of the town. You get to do some people watching, say hi to these little kids going by. The people are out shopping. You can stop and browse, maybe get a coffee, and just stroll. There are a whole variety of kinds of streets in the heart of Nîmes. The main busy area is down towards the train station, the Avenue Fourchère, and there we've got some department stores, fast food, little boutiques, all kinds of commerce going on here, wide boulevard with trees along it. Very pleasant area. One of several districts in the heart of Nîmes that you'll have some good fun exploring. In the center of town, we find a covered food market, Leal, typical of French cities. They've got some small supermarkets naturally, but this is more in the traditional style of the covered food hall. A whole variety of fresh produce and meats and packaged foods. There's also a modern shopping mall right in the heart of Nîmes. So along with all of those ancient historic sites and charming pedestrian lanes, you've got your typical modern mall interior. The city has got something for everybody. Some of the shopping areas in the town reflect the old history, such as this passage. That's like the turn of the century kind of a shopping mall back in Paris. There are a few other little squares in town the scenic Place aux Herbes Square, setting for the 11th century Cathedral Notre Dame, a dominant place in the middle of the city, of course, in a mix of Romanesque and Gothic styles, dating back about a thousand years. There are some excellent hotels in the city. Here's the Imperator Concord. It's a four-star deluxe property and not far from the canals and the Roman temple. It has a beautiful interior. Even if you're not staying here, you're welcome to come in and have a meal in the restaurant. Enjoy the lounge. There's an old-fashioned elevator in this hotel. Of course, the interior is very much up-to-date, friendly place, reasonable prices. Perhaps have breakfast if you're here in the morning. A more modern hotel is the Novotel Atria. This is located downtown, closer to the train station. Perhaps a little bit more of a businessman's hotel, but it's welcoming to the casual visitor as well. Part of the very large French hotel chain Accor. Novotel is one of their real quality properties. As you see, the lounge and lobby areas are very modern, comfortable, clean, and functional. Here too, there's a restaurant that's open to the public. And it's so close to the train station, it makes for very easy access, right in the center of Nîmes. The hotel is also close to the bus station, adjacent to the train station. And very often you'll find the buses are more convenient than train for reaching certain destinations. One of the best things about Nîmes, it's proximity to the Pont du Gard. It's only about 12 miles away and you can easily reach it by public bus. There are no trains that go to the Pont du Gard, so you either go on a private tour or a rental car, or you can take the public bus. Very convenient. It drops you off just a few hundred yards from the visitor center at the Pont du Gard.
We'll take you on a detailed visit to Pont du Gau on our next episode.